What's going on? It's your boy. Y'all see me. Y'all see the book to the point. So listen. It's a verse in the Bible. It's in James 2 and 20. I just looked it up. It said, basically, I'm going to summarize the end of the verse. It said that faith without works is dead. So, you know, I told y'all I started back reading the book. And Mashana now, I've been like, read this chapter, read that chapter. So I read chapter 10. In chapter 10, the book is talking about love. But it, something happened yesterday made me realize that it doesn't matter how much you love a person if you're not willing to work at it. See, work is something that's exuded. Love is something that's exuded. That we I know we probably touched on this a while ago, but I feel like it's prevalent today because when you look at our society, people will, some people will say that we have a loveless society because no one is displaying love. No one is, no one is interacting. No one is showing concern for one another. That's why they would call a loveless society. So my thing is, we always say, well, God showed the greatest act by giving up his only begotten son. And the act what Jesus did on the cross was an expression of love. In other words, it was the work of love and action. So if love has to be exuded, love has to be a verb, which I like the verb version, not the noun. It has to be in action. It has to be, you know, where we can see instead of, like I think I told y'all before, like I can count on one hand and put probably two, three fingers down to tell you how many times my dad told me he loved me. But I can't tell you enough how many times he hugged me, how many times he embraced me. How many times he took me with him, and this my guy. You know, he I was his, I was his little ride dog. You know, I was his I was his man's pots and pans. You know, it was cool as his fans. That's how we rolled up. That's how we got out. I'm saying this all because you can love somebody and never show them that you love them, if that makes sense. Because you can tell them all the time. Okay, don't get me wrong. You pay the rent. You pay the electric bill. You pay the car notes. Those are things you were gonna do regardless. Love is an expression of little things, like you might go out of your way and do something that you know is needed because love focuses on not just wants but also needs. The little things that people may forget about, like, I mean, don't get me wrong, women, y'all can attest to this one, women get mad that brothers leave the toilet seat up. Well, love will make you put the toilet seat down because that's part of your eyes because you're like, oh shoot, I don't want her to fall. You get what I'm saying? That's, that's things that we do. Love will make you do stuff when you know someone is tired. Love will make you go ahead and see somebody worn out, you go ahead and cook dinner, or she'll cook dinner. Love will go ahead and jump in your car and realize, ain't no gas there. Love will have you fill the car up. See, what I'm telling you is that love is work. It's not just about telling somebody, hey, I love you, I want to be with you. I feel like we should be weird. It seems like it shouldn't be so easy. It feels like we, we should work. No, it's something that you do on a perpetual basis. One thing love ain't going to do is not going to hide from you. By that being said, when it's not going to hide things from you. And I'm just speaking from a personal experience, like, and me, me when you know, when you shine down nothing, tell you something, you have to listen. So when you shine down that, when things don't set right in your spirit, you investigate, you ask. And I'm the type of person, if you tell me, but I still feel like you're lying, I will tell you, you know, I don't believe a word you said, but that's your truth. The problem is, I don't want to find out later on that you're lying because now you're destroying everything that we're working on building. If you got something going on in your relationship and you love that person and you showing what works, if it's something that you feel like you need to get off your chest, something that you may or may not have done, and you be like, this may destroy the relationship, the thing is, if it's real love, you may separate for a minute, you may have some parting of ways, but you'll know how to draw back together. I mean, I'm just, I have to bring this up, attesting to my pastor and his wife, what they said was, they've been on the brink of where it was almost divorced, but the love started to work. You get what I'm saying? The action started being exuded. They started realizing what it would take, the commitment that they have to give to one another and the thing that they have to do for one another to come back together and make it grow. They just like, y'all know I love my pastors. Oh, we got to tell you I love my love. So once again, I want y'all to understand this. Love without works is dead also. I don't care how much a person loves you, but that work has to be exuded. That work has to be displayed on a perpetual basis. Love ain't just getting up going to work every morning. Well, oh, I pay the bills. No, no, that's something you're going to do anyway, whether you're with that person or not, because that's part of your responsibility. You know, love does a little intricate thing. Love goes out of its way. Like, okay, we're going to take care of this trip, or what do we need for trips? Here you go. Love don't even question it. Love makes sure things get done. So I ain't finna hold y'all along, but I want y'all to understand this. When it's love, hey, you're going to see it working at all the time. It's your boy. Peace.